So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the Invention Therapy Factory. And uh, here's where we invent all kinds of stuff. This is our laser cutter, laser engraver. We cut MDF, acrylic. We do engraving in aluminum, stuff like that for our sound laser products and other things that we make around here. It's also great for prototyping. This is our stencil printer. A stencil printer is used to put solder on the circuit board, as you can see the circuit board there. Um, it spreads the solder over top of the circuit board using a stencil. There's the stencil. Uh, once the components are placed on the circuit board, it's passed through an oven and that paste melts. So as an example, here's some of our boards that we're working on. This is the Sonic Levitator and there's not many components on it, but you can see that you know, the components are on the board and that was done with a stencil printer and then run through an oven. The components themselves are placed on the board by one of our pick and place machines. The pick and place machine is a robot that takes components off of those reels that you see there and then places them on the circuit boards. They just sit on top of the circuit board. They're not really mounted in any way. And then once you put them through the oven, then what they do is the, the solder paste melts and is like any other electronics. Uh, the solder is hardened and holds the components. Uh, Denny's probably working on something. These are, looks like he's answering emails, but anyhow, um, this is our other pick and place machine. It's identical to the first one. We have two, just in case one goes bad or we're doubling up on production. And here is a solder robot. This is one of my favorite machines here. Solder robot is literally what it sounds like. It's a robot with a head mounted to it that has a soldering iron and you can see a roll of solder. And the head moves over to the circuit board. It's placed in this holder and it just comes down and solders each component onto the board. We use that for our transducers and other items that have through hole components and aren't like with the solder paste uh, where you saw earlier, the solder paste itself is what holds it. In this case, a solder robot is used for things that go through the circuit board, little pins and connectors and things like that. Um, over here, we have our CNC router. We use this a lot for prototyping. It's a great machine. It can cut wood, it can cut metal, it can cut plastics. This is, I believe, two foot by three foot cutting size, which is perfect for what we do around here. And I'm excited because we're gonna be showing you guys how to start an entire business in eight hours using one of these machines. Uh, we have an idea for a website and we're gonna design the products, build them, set up the website, sh set up the shopping cart, do everything in eight hours. We're gonna walk you through the entire process so that if you have an idea for an invention at home, you can see how easy it is once you know what you're doing to get started and just basically wake up and begin advertising the products that you sell. Um, it doesn't take as long as you think. It's not as hard as you think. Just have to have the right tools and a little bit of skill and that's about it. And if we come over here, here's our kitchen. And we set up a quick green screen. That's how we shoot some of our videos, which you may think are in a studio, but they're actually done in a green screen here. And uh, coming over here is one of our 3D printers. We have a few 3D printers. This is one of the smaller ones. Um, we're big fr fans of the Stratasys 3D printers because when we need to use them, we just want them to work. So this is the Mojo. Uh, it's not a very expensive machine. It's more expensive you guys are probably used to. It's about $6,000 now. Um, and this is an oven. We use that for bending acrylic and some other things. And that's about it. And we'll be posting more videos soon about, again, like I said, how to create a web business in eight hours and how to invent products literally overnight. We're gonna show you how we do it and hopefully you guys will be able to do it too. Till next time.